If you have epilepsy, please close your eyes for the next five seconds, starting now. What's up, homie? It's, it's great, great to, to see you. I'm going to show you how to install and use the comprehensive stopwatch and countdown timer, Lewis Script, for OBS Studio. And what makes this shine is that it gives you a bunch of extra control. For example, you can play sound effects at specific times, and you can change the color of the countdown timer at specific moments in time. So it gives you a whole bunch of extra control. I can't wait to show you. You're going to love it. Let's get some! Electrify! Your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. Okay, here we are at the actual page at OBS. I just Googled comprehensive stopwatch and countdown timer. It got me here. I will also put a link in the description for you if you want to find it that way. Once you do get here, go and click the go to download button in the upper right hand corner. And it'll take you to this page right here, and you'll see the raw code for this Lewis script listed here. Now, you can click the raw button and copy all of this and paste this straight into a text file and then rename it .lua, and you'll be good to go. You can also, you can also go back and click this OBS-lua link here, and it'll take you to this page. Then you click the green code button here and select download zip. Upon doing that, I'll show you the contents of this download zip file. Here's the file here. If I double click it, not only will you get the stopwatch.lua script, but you'll also get a whole bunch more. I'm not sure what these do and I'm gonna be looking into them. So you can download a actual zip file and get the Lua script that you need that way as well. Installing the script into OBS is really easy. The only hurdle is knowing where to place it. And the best way to find out where that location is, is to select the tool buttons at the top and then select scripts. And then you get this box here and there's a little plus sign. Click that plus sign. It'll take you to an Explorer window and you'll see where you need to paste it. Program files, OBS-Studio, data, OBS-plugins, front end dash tools, scripts. Plop it in there, don't worry about restarting OBS. It's not needed, that's why OBS scripts are awesome. Okay, getting this to show up in a live stream is pretty cut and dry. All you have to do is go into sources, click the plus sign, and I want you to select the text GDI source, okay? And what's gonna happen here is that we're just gonna add a text source. You can type anything in here, but it's gonna be replaced with the timer once we designate that in the Lewis script. So I'll just call this countdown timer so that I know what this is. Hit OK. Shows up here. It doesn't matter what you type in here. It doesn't matter what font you select. It doesn't matter what color you select because it's all going to get overridden. Hit OK. Here it is in the screen. And then we go into Tools and we go to Scripts and we'll hit the plus sign. And I've named mine Stop Dash Watch. That's the, that's the actual script here. You can name your script anything you want. As long as the code is there, you're good to go. So I'll select my script. Hit OK. And here we are, we can see the interface on the right hand side here. And as you can see, there is something called timer source. It's a pull down and we wanna select the countdown timer that we set up here. If, if for, for some, some reason, reason you do, do not see your source, source in the pull down, down restart OBS, OBS and, and it, it will, will show, show up. up. And if we hit the start pause stopwatch, watch what happens. Boom, it gets replaced with the actual countdown timer. Pretty cool. Okay, now things are gonna get interesting. Wait till you see the available parameters for this thing. Go back into tools. Go back to scripts and in the configuration pull down right here, select advanced. Yes. And look at all the parameters that this thing has for you to play with. Really cool stuff. I can't wait to show you. Here we go. So that you can follow along in the tutorial without any problems, I'd like you to create two media sources in your scene. They're going to be audio files and they're going to be two different sound effects. Okay. One's going to be audio caution. That's what I want you to name it. The other one will be audio warning upon you creating these two sources. I'd like you to go into the audio mixer and make sure that you can hear the sound effect playing on your end. You do that by clicking the little gear here and selecting advanced audio properties. It brings you up to this kind of mixery kind of thing. And you have a pull down next to the two sources that you've created. Audio caution, select monitor and output, and then for the other one as well, monitor and output, okay? Upon you doing that, you can close out the window, and what the script will do is click automatically the little eyeball here. So if you turn them off, you'll notice that the audio mixer, the soundtracks go away, but what the script is gonna do is turn these on at a specific point in time for you automatically, watch. This is the caution audio. Audio warning. So if you can do this on your end, that means the script's gonna work. After setting up the two media sources, the sound effects, right? 
What I'd like you to do now is to shut OBS down. Now, the reason why I'll ask you to do this is because the developer who made the script didn't account for resetting the script to re-grab the new sources. You have to shut down OBS and bring it back up so that the script will show those two new sources that you've created. If you don't do that, you're going to start pulling your hair out and going nuts, like I did for 15 minutes. <laughs> I've made a survey that will give you the power to tell me what kind of tutorials you need for OBS Studio and live streaming software. Link is in the description. It'll take just a few minutes. Thanks in advance for your help. <clears throat> okay, again, I just went into tools and selected scripts, and now I'm in looking at the advanced stopwatch. I've made sure that the advanced configuration is selected, and we have all the available parameters in this list now. The timer type pulldown will denote what kind of parameters are shown to you when you make that selection. For example, the stopwatch is currently selected, but if I select countdown, it's going to give me some more parameters. Watch. Whoop. See how that just popped up, and now I have a countdown type. I've got hours, minutes, and seconds shown here. So I'm going to show you from the perspective of a countdown, just because I think it makes more sense in your brain. So that's what we're going to select right now. Configuration is obviously advanced. That's what gives you all the parameters here. Timer source. We've selected that already as well. Countdown type. We're going to select hours, minutes, and seconds. I think that makes most sense. You can select a specific date and time as well if you wanted to. But I think in most cases, everybody's going to want hours, minutes, and seconds. And so for this demonstration, zero hours, zero minutes, and just 10 seconds is what we're going to be counting down from. Timer format. No leading zeros, no split seconds is what I've selected. That means that all the zeros in front of the counter are gone. It just makes it look more simplistic and easier to understand visually. So that's what I've selected there. Caution audio. This is where I told you to restart OBS because you won't see the source that you've created here if you don't restart OBS. Okay. So select the, your caution audio sound effect here and your warning audio source here. Now scroll down some more and you have the ability to change what is the normal color for the text of the counter, what your caution color is. I've chosen yellow here. If you select it, you get this little color chooser. And for warning, I've selected red. I think those colors make the most sense. The two parameters, caution time and warning time, are the trigger events for both the color and the two audio media sources, okay? So you have to follow the format that is shown here. 00 zero colon zero zero colon zero zero is the format. If you just drop a number in there, it will not trigger the event. So follow that format. As you see here, the caution will activate at eight seconds and the warning turns on at five seconds. Now this is really cool. I had to stop recording because I literally just discovered this. I somehow scanned over it and didn't notice it. But if you scroll down just a little bit here, you will see a trigger text parameter. If you enable this, okay, you will see a caution note source and a warning note source. If you want to do this, if you want to display text at a caution time point and a warning time point, you can do it. You just have to create those two sources, name them appropriately, restart OBS, and then you will select them here. The next two parameters are kind of buggy. They don't seem to work very well. That's the caution and warning duration. And what I understand them to be is how long they will become heard or visible. Uh, I've had mixed results. A lot of people are having questions about it in the discussion. So I'd just let, let it go for now. I don't think it's that super duper important. Auto recording when selected to yes will automatically begin recording your live stream. And the next scene parameter allows you to designate the next scene that will be shown after the counter reaches zero, which is super slick. Timer prefix is pretty cool. This is text that you can place before the timer. So if I hit start, as you can see, there it is before the 10 and suffix is the text that shows after. Simple, easy, and effective. If you want to take your live stream to the next level with counters or timers, man, do I have some fantastic tutorials for you. I'm talking about the incredible Snaz tool, the advanced scene switcher, moving sources based on time, analog clocks, and commercial free videos that you can download from my channel. No problem. You don't have to credit me. You can just use them. If you're interested in some more stuff for your channel like this, Click this link right here and you will um, be amazed with the content that's available. I will see you over there. Best wishes. Stay strong. And keep fighting. Yeah.